Welcome to Cindy E. Eats. I'm Cindy. Hey. Amen, amen, amen. Y'all see what we got? Some good old king crab. Of course, this is B-Love's Smackalicious Spicy Sauce. A little sausage, a little corn, a little boiled egg, cucumber, some lemon. Back here, I got a little salt and pepper and lime pepper that I'm going to put a little lemon in like I see Kim Ty and uh oh I forgot her name that fast her friend her best friend Michelle what Kim and Michelle be doing over here I got me some water lemon if you joining me for the first time thank you for stopping by please before you leave don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel and if you've been here before welcome back welcome back to my, my aunties my ogs my uncles my cousins my sisters my brothers come on y'all come on y'all come join me come join me come join me i ain't got a lot today but i'm willing to share i'm willing to share we ain't gonna waste no more time we're going to get right to it, right to it. Now, these right here. Ooh. These right here. Ouch. Let me just do this. Let me just do this. Because it looked like it was about to come out. I got these from my local, uh, where you go? My local, my local fish market. Ouch, that hurt. And they was such a good price, I couldn't let them go. And the last time I got king crab, I got them from, what'd you call that place? Sam's Club. They were sixty dollars for how many was in there? Like two and a half. These was forty dollars. A little less than forty. Oh, let me go ahead and dip. She thick today. Real thick and hot and juicy and spicy. Now you know this is the spicy. And I zhuzhed it up just a little bit. Just a little bit, maybe. Just a little bit. My mouth is watering. Let me show it all. Mm-hmm. Put some more stuff back up there. It fell off just a little. Okay. I was not a king crab fan. King crab was not my first choice of any crab. My first choice is blue crab. I want to say this here. And this here. I have a couple of muscles in here. Uh -huh. 
how's everybody doing today? The very first day of 2024, baby. Monday. I mean, yeah, Monday. The year started off with a Monday, okay? Monday, January 1st, 2024 is the day that I'm recording this video. I want to say thank you to any and everybody who watched my video that came out tonight. I don't know how many is going to watch it or how many did watch it, but let me tell you, I had fun recording it. We had fun doing it. Because I wasn't ready to make a video until today. I enjoyed my little vacation. Well, it wasn't even a vacation. It was just a day off because so. we only got today off. For the holiday. I'm going to go back to work tomorrow. And when I say work Friday, it was so slow. It was slow, y'all. Slow. But it went really slow for me. Because I don't take calls yet. Just that little stuff. Okay. I get it. Okay. So I don't take calls yet. But remember again, there's not a busy calling place. I think people started calling right before it was time to close. And it was a Friday, so you know how that go. I ain't even gonna ask about no resolutions because sis ain't made none. Ain't thinking about making none. We just trying to live and do right and do better. Okay? That's what sis goal is. To get better at whatever. Whatever it is. Oh, oh, it's courting everywhere, but on this. But guess what I watched today? Mm. I watched the Elvis documentary. Well, not documentary, but the Elvis movie with Tom Hanks. That was good. Like Elvis. You know, it's not a big thing for me. I watch some of his movies. You know, as a little girl. You know, because I grew up in the 80s, so. People still loving on Elvis. Like, he ain't die. He died in 1977. I was born in 78. So I, I grew up when it was still very fresh for the people that loved him. So you know I've seen a few of his movies. People still talking about him. You know, that type of stuff, even in the 90s. He's still very much, you know, popular today. I 
but it gave me a different type of respect for Elvis in a way. Because although he was Elvis, right? He um still went through all the way up until his death. What a lot of black musicians went through in the 50s and 60s, 70s. Especially in, you know, in the 50s and 60s. Oh. People taking advantage of record sales. You know, just that all kind of type of stuff. That happened to Elvis. Yeah. Elvis died in 1977. The man that took advantage of him didn't even die until 1997. So he lived for another 20 years, basically. Like 20. Mm hmm Reaping benefits off of Elvis. In the movie, it said... His name was Colonel something. And it started to come out. A few years after Elvis died, about how that man was taking advantage of him. But you gotta think about it. Not only did that man take advantage of him, but everybody around him. Because everybody lived off of him. Everybody made money off of him and what he did. Do you know Elvis never left the country and did no concerts? Never. In the movie is that Elvis was the first artist to uh, do like a, a concert through the TV. So, you know, first satellite concert or whatever. It's at 1.5 billion people watched it. And you know, it wasn't no reruns. If you didn't catch it when it aired, you missed it. 1.5 billion people. Oh, water. 1.5 billion people at one time. I only married once to Priscilla. I'm going to tell you the main reason I watch this movie, right? You know how they show you ads for stuff on Facebook, TV shows, movies, or whatever.
and I guess it's another movie coming out based on Priscilla's perspective and when I say the people was mad in these comments talking about how she used the man she never loved him she ruined him she was money hungry and for y'all who for those who don't know he met that girl when she was like 14 15 years old So if anybody was money hungry, it was her parents. Now, although, you know, they could have set it up to where, you know, they met or whatever. I didn't really get clear direction on how they met or whatever. But the parents had to agree to it at some, at some point, right? 14, 15 years old. Parents had to agree to it. Elvis was actually serving in the army. During the time they met. I want to say it could have been pimp house. I don't remember. <clears throat> so her parents would have been money hungry. Pushing her towards Elvis, right? The man 14, 15 years old. And as good as Elvis looked, she probably came infatuated with him, believing it was love. Listening to her parents, listening to her friend, thinking that's what she's supposed to do. I'm close up. sauce is very thick. This is the last of my sauce. Mind you, although they was together, they didn't get married until she was 21. So just think all those years. And you know, she was actually traveling with him, living with him, everything. Oh, my microphone. Hold on. I hope the sound ain't messed up on this video. Mm. Sorry. I feel like that man lived once he became famous, famous, right? A lonely life. A very lonely life. Although he was surrounded by people, I know he was still basically like lonely. At some point he had to come to realize that most of the people that he was around him was not around him because you know they loved him not saying that they didn't but they was around for the money 
and what he could provide for them, what he could do for them, so, what they could gain from him. I don't know how true it is, but sure his cause of death was a heart attack. But then they said it was like drugs. Because he was addicted to drugs. Alcohol. This movie was told from the perspective of that man, the colonel. His manager. He basically said he died because <clears throat> of stardom, being famous, the fans, the pressure, the life, which can be true too. Oh no. It was just sad to me. And I just seen it from a you know totally different perspective. And I have a lot more um empathy. Because you know, he really got famous from for singing songs that was considered, you know, black songs. His daddy went to jail and they had to move into the black neighborhood. So they're saying that's where he got a lot of his uh, moves and rhythm and all that stuff from. He was born a twin and his twin died at birth. So essentially he was a mama's boy. And she ain't really want him to be famous, famous. Just that. Although sad, you know, he probably has some very, very, very great times, okay? I'm done. Since it's done. And the mess I made back here don't make no sense. Now I cleaned up. Before I lay it down, okay? So, there's three things I want to leave you with before I go. My very first one is to let you know that God loves you. Number two, so do I. Number three, the reason I do this each and every time is strictly for your. Mm -hmm, your viewing pleasure. Hope to see you next time on Cindy E. Eats. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye. Ooh. <laughs> Not carbonated drink in sight. Look at my shirt. Oh.
know what this table look like. That's what this table look like too. Okay. I'ma holler at y'all good folks. <clears throat>